Welcome to this embroidery tutorial on how to transfer your embroidery design using the lightbox method. This is my preferred method. I like to use my iPad as my lightbox and then use an app called Trace Table to be able to import my design, scale it to the size that I need for my hoop and then lock the screen with just one click of a button. You can use guided access settings for free but this app's only a couple of dollars and the ease of use and just being able to lock and unlock my screen with a click of a button is totally worthwhile in my mind. So you will have prepared your hoop beforehand. You can see that it is just that one layer of fabric making it really easy to see that design. And I like to use a pilot friction pen. I've been using a fine liner one of these in black for years. I have had no issues and I absolutely love it. There are some pros and cons. So maybe do your research if you live in a really cold climate because it sometimes can come back. If you are new to this technique and you are worried about the design moving as you are tracing it. So this is another tip that I recommend grab some washi tape and just create these little double sided sections and just pop four on your hoop and use that to just kind of tack down your hoop onto your iPad. It's a really good method because it doesn't leave any residue like if you were to use blue tack or something that can leave residue on your fabric and hoop. Really easy to use and takes the pressure of you having to hold the hoop completely still. Just those four pieces should be enough and as you can see here in a second it just doesn't move at all and that means I can change the angle of my iPad making it easier to draw and trace. So now that my hoop is in position it's kind of secure I'm going to start tracing very slowly with my pilot friction pen. As you can imagine it's very different using a pen on fabric than it is for paper so do short sharp kind of sketching strokes just to make sure that your ink is coming out nicely of the pen and then also that helps you be a bit more accurate with your tracing. It doesn't need to be completely perfect as we're going to remove it at the end using a iron or a hair straightener, but it does make it a lot easier to stitch if your design is accurate. If your design is a little bit more detailed, maybe has lots of fine lining or like a lot of intricate detail, you might find it helpful to just focus on transferring the big items and the key parts of the design and then eyeballing in those smaller parts of the designs afterwards. It takes the pressure off certainly a lot. So you can see this is why I made sure I only had one layer of fabric. It's really easy to see my design through. If you're struggling, maybe go into a darker room so that light really shines through. And so my design is transferred on. I'm ready to stitch, super easy to do. I would normally leave my hoop at this position kind of with the butt face in, but if you want to, you can flip your design over and prep your hoop again. It's really personal preference. Most of the time I leave it as it was when I traced it because I'm a little bit lazy and I'd like to just jump in and get sewing straight away. But if you like to have your hoop this way, you can totally just readjust it, turn it around the right way and then just retighten it so it's ready for sewing. It is totally a personal preference and I would recommend giving both ways a go. Now I get a lot of questions, what if I want to transfer a design onto dark or black colored fabric? So the first thing I would do is swap over your contrast on your piece. You can see I've got the black background with the white. It shows through a lot better. And then also I've been recommended to use this chalk pastel pacer. So it shows up on the fabric really nicely. It's not a friction pen. It doesn't disappear with heat. It's kind of just like using a pencil on fabric. It works perfectly fine and it is a nice cheap alternative to using other methods you just do everything exactly the same tra trace it exactly the same and then at the end it will kind of look like this so it works really well if you're looking to transfer onto black fabrics For those wanting to use guided access setting on your iPad, it works just as well as the app trace table. It's just a little bit more fiddly in my mind. You're going to go into accessibilities, guided access and set it all up, putting a passcode on it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your photos, upload whichever one you're wanting to design, scale it up to the size that you want it to be. And then you're just going to click that home button three times. So you can see this is already a little bit more fiddly than just using the app trace table, but if you're wanting to save a couple of dollars, it totally works just as well. You're just going to outline the design, the kind of shape that you want it to lock into your passcode. So a lot of people use this for their kids watching Netflix so that they don't click out of it. And then you can see it's locked. It doesn't move to get out of that locked position. You're just going to click that home button three times, enter your passcode and your iPads back to normal. So that's how you transfer your design. I hope that was really helpful.